Hey everybody. So I'm back. And this is a little bit of an update episode, even though you guys don't really like this. First off, new format. Not saying. Not saying forever. Um so what do I actually want to talk about? By the way, you hear audio in the background and it's not coming from me. They're watching Avengers, so... <laughs> yeah. oh, I love to hear that. When it's done, I'd love to see if this movie's louder than my audio. <sighs> it's not like hey, Avengers, it's just that I've watched it so much. I've watched it to death, you know? It's a good movie, it's just that I've been watched to death. I've watched it to death, in sense. I don't know. Anyways... So... A little bit of some updates here. As you can plainly see, the last 50 of my videos have been um, uh, my version of Days of Pony. And uh, I haven't uploaded the last 16 episodes, um, which are the Season 2 finale episodes, both of them. The last two episodes of Season 2, all 13 episodes of Season 3, wait, wait, no. and the movie. And the first three episodes of Season 4 just came out in the past two weeks. So, yeah, I missed the deadline. The thing is, uh, my iPod sort of died, so... And the reason is, I don't have a good charger now, because my grandparents' dog sort of... Nom 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 it. So, yeah... <laughs> Mm. And, uh, I mean, at least the 50th episode got out, um, you know, that's a good thing. But the season two finale did not get out. So here's what, uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I have the book at my grandparents. Um, later tonight I will hopefully get to their house in time. Uh, and in that time I will record and upload both episodes, uh, part one and two, by using this, the YouTube format. So, yeah. So, that's one thing. That's coming soon. And hopefully, hopefully in the next few weeks before Christmas, I will be able to upload uh, all 16 episodes. Um, I don't know how far that will put me in Season 4, but after that, and we're all uploaded there, I should be getting to reviewing the Season 4 episodes and making them, you know, episodes... I'll just drop the, the slash 66, because we really don't need that anymore. We don't really need the slash 66 anymore. Um, after that, ep after episode 66, which is the movie. Um, so we'll just drop that and just say this is a season 4 review, not a Days of Pony. Um, and of course, because of that, uh, there will be no book. Uh, when I get to the movie, there will be no book. There will be no video clips, there will be no, there won't be anything that has to do with the show exactly. You won't see images just from the show, you'll just get my personal reaction to it. Because I've done stuff like that in the past where I would give you my initial reaction to it. But I said, you know what, I don't want to do that this this season, so, yeah. <laughs> Gonna review the old fashioned way in a sense. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing. Um, but, so, again, Season 2, 3, the movie, that's coming soon, don't worry about that. Season 4 has already premiered its first three episodes, um, Princess Twilight Parts 1 and 2, and their newest episode, Castle Mania. Uh, and, of course, it's Castle Main dash IA. And, um, Mania, and Castle Mania is actually done by a completely different version I, version, completely different person, a completely different writer. This is actually the first time that there has been a, um, wait, Castle Marnia? Hmm. Anyway, um, Castle Mania, uh, is apparently by this guy, who is it by? I forget. I'm pulling it up right now, me, QD. Um, and apparently, they already have a countdown for episode 4. Um, it is Josh Haber. 
So, yeah. Uh, Josh Haber did the first real episode of season four. Uh, Meg McCarthy did the two-parter, and honestly, I have to say that Megan did, uh, j just for a preview of the, the episode reviews for season four, um, Princess Planet Sparkle was an amazing uh, starter episode uh, for season four. I think Megan did a really good job on it. Um, it's not really, I wouldn't, I would probably contend it as one of her best, but we'll just have to see um, what I say for seasons, for the end of season two, uh, and all of season three, and all of her episodes in that point. Um, as for the new episode of Castlemania, I think uh, Josh Haber does a really, really, really good job at an episode. I think, I think, I think like less, I don't know if like it was less than zero, but I think Apple Cider from Bronyville, the podcast, said that one of the episodes was really, really, maybe it was actually Sunny Skies All Day Long, um, fanfic that said this could be an actual episode. And I think, in that same sense, if Castle Mania was a fanfic, and this would be, you know, that rendition. I mean, it literally is just an actual fan-made episode. This is Josh's first time actually making an episode for uh, Friendship is Magic. And I think um, he's hopefully done more. So, Josh Haber. Um, Josh, uh, da, 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 what has he done? Twitter, I, IMDB. Alright, IMDB. Um... So he's so this is the first thing that he's done in a while. Actually, he's actually uh, written an episode. Uh, or well, okay, he was part of two episodes and written and wrote a third episode of Kaijudo, Kaijudo, Rise of the Duel Masters. Um, he was in A Light in the Darkness and Like Father Like Son, and he wrote Unmasked. So. I've never heard of that show before, Kaijudo Rise of the Duel Masters. I'm going to have to look into this. Um, apparently it's in its second season, yada yada yada. Um, it's been going on for about two years now. Um, Phil Lamar's in it, D. Bradley Baker's in it, Grady Lyle's in there, John DiMaggio. Scott Wolf, apparently, I guess, is supposed to be the main character. Um, but I've never heard of it. It doesn't ring a bell to me. But right now, I think Josh does a very good job. His first episode of uh, French Bit Magic. Uh, why do I sit, why do I praise this episode so much? I think it's mostly because it, when I get to the review, I think it's these are literally how the characters would be treated in my mind. Um, each and every one of these characters is perfectly portrayed to me, and. Um, it's really just amazing. It is perfect storyline. So, anyway, I wasn't supposed to review this. This is an update video, um, and I think I'm going to finish off the update video with uh, the fact that I did uh, also get to watch the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who um, with Matt Smith, David Tennant, Billy Piper, Jenna Coleman, John Hurt. Some surprise appearances uh, from a lot of people. Um, and, honestly, I think it was a really good episode. Um, this is the second to last episode featuring David Tennant, and there's even a little bit of a surprise from the next Doctor. Um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, but his appearance, I'll just say, Capaldi intensifies. I can't do the, I can't do the eyes. I really can't. I can't do it. Just search up Capaldi intensifies, and you'll get what I mean. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, that was, a, it was a great episode, it was one of the greatest episodes of all time, I honestly like the Zygon people, I like the Zygons in a sense, they were, they looked really cool, and I said, oh, they brought that back, and now they bring it here. I hadn't been that excited since they brought back the Ice Warriors, who were amazing, by the way, um, in, in the Cold War. So yeah, uh, again, great episode, um, Matt was good, John was pretty cool, David was just downright amazing in this episode, Billy was just, brain, brain is hurting a lot, and John did okay, but I think as a supporting role she did okay. But next episode is, uh, The Time of the Doctor, 
and this is Matt's last episode, so <laughs> we're going to miss you, Matt. We really are. This is uh, a day that I really wish would not happen ever, and I really hope that Matt would have been the next Tom Baker. But hey, you know, maybe uh, Capaldi's going to be the next William Hartnell. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess that's... <laughs> I guess that's surprisingly the end of the video here. Uh, again, quick recap. Uh, Day of the Doctor was amazing. Castlemania and the two part of uh, Princess Twilight's article were good, and I'll put a full review out later. Um, and I think when I was just there, there was also the fact that I need to get out the rest of the Days of Pony. Um, those will be coming out in uh, hopefully over the weekend. Um, I'll definitely finish up Season 2, um, and yeah, and Season 3 should come in the next week, in the next two weeks. They should be done by Christmas, basically. They should hopefully be done by Christmas. So, yeah. Anywho, uh, thank you for watching this long, long update video that sort of, uh, sort of breaks the continuity of, hey, I'm only going to be doing, uh, review episodes. Uh, of episodes, and I'm only doing Days of Pony, but whatever. Anyway, one more thing before I go, that New York toy thing, I have it ready, I'm ready to go, the iPods, again, the iPod, uh, I don't know if I explained this, but here's the thing, I have the final two episodes of season two done, and I also have the review of the toys from New York done on my iPod, it's just that the iPod's basically dead, so I need a new cord, and when I get that, that's perfectly fine. I will upload the toy video, because at that point, I would have the, uh, the review videos out of the way. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, get ready for that, uh, for all that stuff. Hopefully, Avengers didn't upset the audio. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Big update video, you know? I'll see you guys later.